Hi, I'm Renee Teller, and I want to talk to you today about brain training. You've probably done a lot of physical training and fitness training. I'm not sure how many of us train our brain, but trust me when I tell you, you need to. It helped me survive my recent cancer diagnosis in a big way. So here's what I know. There was a recent Harvard study that said 25% of job successes are related to IQ. Only 25%, but 75% of job successes are related to optimism of the person, social circumstances, and the ability to handle stress as a challenge and not a threat. That's amazing, right? 75% of job successes are people who have those other traits. So if we can train our brain to understand and learn that, whole world can change, right? So here's what you can do. Three quick things to start your brain training. The first thing is a morning ritual. Studies show that it's so important to get up in the morning and have a ritual. And if you follow me at all, I've talked about that before. You've got to have a routine. It's got to be positive. It's got to set your brain in the right direction for your day, then your week, and the month, and the year, and so on morning ritual is key. Number two, we have this magnificent brain that records everything that ever happened in your life. Some of it is true and some of it is untrue. We're going to have to sort that out. There's actually patterns of truths and untruths and I have a PDF that you can download and take a look at which ones apply to you. So that's step number two. You're going to look at those truths. You're going to look at how you see yourself today and decide what is really true and what is not true. Step three, we're going to work on the untruths. We're going to train our brain and we're going to almost trick it because remember, it's just an organ. We're going to trick that brain and retrain it to know that that is not true, whatever that belief is. So in order to do that, here's a simple little step and it's going to seem really silly but it worked for me through my cancer surgery, so I know it worked. You're gonna pretend to take your brain out of your head and set it on the table, and you're gonna review that untruth with it. You're gonna have listed all the pros and all the, the cons of why that isn't true, and you're gonna talk to your brain. You know, you've heard psychologists sometimes say, talk to that little child. Most of these untruths were born when we were small children, when we couldn't rationalize things and understand them for ourselves. We have to undo those things. Our adult self knows they're not true. And you have to speak to your brain and reprogram it for the truth. It really is possible. You have to be still, you have to be diligent, you have to persevere, and you have to exercise that brain muscle. I know it sounds crazy, but just give it a try. Go to ReneeTeller.com and you can learn more information.